This is Gumloop, and I will introduce what it does at a high level, just so you understand like the primitives of the platform. And then I'll dive into really cool workflows. We are a workflow automation platform. So if you look at how you actually build a workflow, you string together what we call nodes on the platform, and then you can build really powerful multi-step processes. So if I were to connect my Gmail, we have access to all of these integrations. You can scroll through the list. It's all the ones you would expect and more probably, some you haven't heard of. You can take this integration, like my Gmail reader, and then I can connect it to AI, which is where it gets really powerful. The most basic step is our Ask AI node. You can just say, translate this to French, for example, and then it's translating the email bodies to French. But I can pick any large language model here to, to make this happen. So you can see which one performs better for the task. This is a pretty contrived, silly example, but you can imagine the power here when you connect your data with AI. And then there's much more powerful applications of AI, like data extraction, categorization, image generation, deep research, image and video analysis, sorting, scoring. All of the things that AI is uniquely good at are pre-engineered for you, and then you can just connect that into multi-step workflows. That is like the first chapter of Gumloop, the no-code platform. We've been ditching that concept in the last five months and really leaning into code generation. So if you want to really use an integration flexibly, you can have Gumloop build your own integration, which I think is something that sets the platform apart and lets people do some pretty insane things on the platform. So instead of using our pre-configured Google Calendar nodes, for example, you can just describe your own. So I can say, get all my meetings from the last 24 hours with more than two attendees that contain someone from outside of at gumloop.com. Gummy, our little assistant here, will actually generate the entire node. So it's going to plan what are the inputs, what are the outputs, what does this user actually want this node to do, and it's going to, in the background, code a Python script that's invoking the MCP tools, which is more detail than you probably need, but basically you're getting a totally custom integration, and then you'll be able to share this with your entire company if you wanted to. So if I just I have it takes a minute for it to generate all the code and plan everything and reason through the problem. But I do have the custom node example here. I just did it right before the call. So it'll generate a node like this where you can pick your calendars. It lets me specify the minimum number of attendees and the domain filter. And then I can just run this workflow and see all of my external meetings outputted in about half a second here. So I can go look at my meetings and see all of them outputted there for the rest of the workflow to handle. Another thing that Gumloop, so you can see it's building basically the exact same node here. Another thing that Gumloop is pretty uniquely fit to handle is custom integrations, which I think makes it really powerful. So you can just, I could paste in the internal docs for our, an internal API and it would build the integration for me. So in this case, I can say call a webhook and let me pass in some data. So it's really just open-ended call an API. Gummy will build this integration for me too. So non-technical people can integrate their own third-party platforms that Gumloop doesn't even support, and then publish this to their internal library for other people to make use of. The last thing, I'll, so while it's cooking, I don't want to waste too much time in our session here watching it code, but the last thing I want to show is our agent can actually build workflows end-to-end -end for you. So the learning curve kind of gets completely flattened here. If I open Gummy Agent here and I say, create an AI report of my mentions of my brand on Reddit, it'll actually build the entire workflow for you. So it'll build the, the individual integrations and then string that together into a larger workflow. So right now it's determined there needs to be an input and then there needs to be a Reddit node. It needs to analyze that with AI and then send an email with a really beautifully structured brand report. Okay, while it's cooking, so you can see it's adding nodes one by one. one, by one. We can actually see it reasoning through everything. So if you wanna get into the weeds and see what it's actually thinking under the hood, how it's approaching the problem, you can do that. And then I could interrupt it at any time and say, no, I actually want it to do this. I want you to send me six emails for six different brands. And I want you to dump all of these reports into Google Drive. Uh, it'll be able to do that as well. And then you get a hyper reliable workflow. You can run whenever you want. You can see it connected. It determined I, I, it wants the top 100 posts by relevance from all time or from the last week. And it wants to get the post titles, URLs, contents. Gummy is honestly smarter than I am, at, better at building workflows than I am, so I use it for pretty much everything now. But let's go into real use cases, things that I use every single day. The single best source I found for hiring is open source contributors. They're people who really care about something that doesn't might not even benefit them monetarily. They just care about a project so deeply that they're contributing to like the greater good. So I made a workflow that 
does deep research on every single person who contributed to an open source repository and then lets me know who the most hireable person is. So the workflow has a Gumloop interface on top, which is a UI layer you can throw on top of your workflow so that people can actually use it. In this case, I, I have it bookmarked and I just use it whenever I find a cool repository that I think is impressive. It will, let me just show you the output first to, to go straight to the end. So this was a repository I was running it on. This is the actual open source repo that built the, the node framework that a lot of these projects like Gumloop use. And then if I were to put in the link to this repository and just press run, it sends me an email. This one ran 30 minutes ago that has a deep research report about everyone's background, what they've done, what they've worked on, what their interests are, which is crazy sometimes. And then at the end, it gives me a digest of who seems to be the most hireable here based on the factors that I requested. So I said, I don't want the founder of something because it seems like they're too tied to the project. And we can run through what this workflow actually does because I think it's awesome. It first starts off by a custom node. So GitHub's API can get me the top N contributors to a repository. I thought 12 is a good number, so I specified that, but Gummy built this integration for me. I then noticed that half the contributors are bots. They're just like automated scripts that kind of update dependencies and stuff. So I wanted to filter those out. I just specify is this a bot or a real contributor? And GPT 4.1 Mini is doing that kind of decision making per contributor. For everyone who is a real contributor, I do deep research with O3. I say, tell me every single thing you can find about this person. And then flatten that into an email. I throw it into O3 again. And I say, who seems to be the most hireable across these people? Generate a report and then email it to me at max at gumloop.com. Pretty simple, but like one of the most val valuable workflows I have in my kind of toolkit right now. This one monitors our Slack channel for signups because we dump every every non Gmail and Yahoo and personal email signup into Slack, um, and then determines if it's a high value signup or not, and then does a similar amount of deep research with our AI web research node. It finds the person's LinkedIn, um, and then formats all of that into a nice email and then sends it to me. So this is live data. Uh, hopefully, um, I, I can blur this out in the recording, but. This is a, an actual user who signed up. It gives me their LinkedIn. Sometimes I'll, I'll add people on LinkedIn five seconds after they sign up, which feels like magic, but it's just AI doing a, some due diligence for me. Um, and then we can reach out to these people because uh, we know everything about their background and uh, we've scraped their LinkedIn and, and determined if they're a high value sign up. The next one is one that our growth intern uses. We've been doing a lot of TikTok marketing and getting the word out that Gumloop is super powerful over TikTok. He made a workflow that uses our Chrome extension. So whenever he finds a TikTok creator that he thinks is interesting, like this one. He just opens the Chrome extension, presses play. It analyzes the most recent videos with Gemini to figure out a personalized message we can send to this person. So we can say, I loved your video about Zuck and his failed demo, for example. It looks at all of the views across their videos and does an average and calculates the CPM that we should be paying them and then dumps all of that into Google Sheet. Even has a link to his TikTok, his LinkedIn, if it could find it, the total number of likes he has, the average comments per video. And then if we're doing an influencer campaign, our growth intern is running through TikTok and just clicking run on all of these different profiles and building an entire kind of lead list of people we should reach out to with all of the research done. This one also was built by our intern, Joseph, who's monitoring Reddit for mentions about Gumloop. It looks across several different subreddits, gets all the mentions it possibly can about Gumloop, and then generates a really nice email report again in my inbox that tells me what people are saying, any issues that they're having, like pricing or UI issues. It seems to be the target audience are beginner or AI enthusiasts complaints or challenges, basically everything we need to know. And then we have a couple different variations of this running, but one of them also gives us the links to these posts so we can jump in and comment on the Reddit post and keep the conversation on track. So we're using AI to monitor sentiment on Reddit. This one was one I built with a customer that was trying to find restaurants. I just thought, I don't use this one every day, but I thought it was really cool. You put in the name of any small town, it will use perplexity and deep research to figure out or I guess just perplexity to figure out what the native language of that small town is. So if it's a small coastal village in France, it'll determine it's French. And then it will go to Google Maps for every single type of cuisine that we're targeting, burgers, sushi, Italian. It'll extract everything about that company or that restaurant on Google Maps, all of their competitors, their ratings, the average complaints that they've been having in their reviews. And then it'll format a really beautiful outbound script. Most of these restaurants don't have websites, so... They only get the phone number from Google Maps, and then the sales rep representative can call them with the native language script, if they speak that language, mentioning their competitors that are down the street, the complaints that people have been having, and then onboarding them to this restaurant service they're selling. 